fucking guys. Oh my god, it's too early. But yeah. Good morning and welcome to a day in my life. But okay, let's wake up and start the day. <sighs> okay, I should I need to wear my glasses. That is much better. I've never made such vlogs. Yeah, I thought I should like give you an insight of how my life is as a content creator with a full-time job and how I go by on a weekday. And if you have any questions about like how to manage your job and content creation, you might find your answers here. Okay, first things first, I start my day with a cup of coffee. I mean, I cannot start without that. I can't have hot coffee, so while that is getting a little cool, I'm gonna go and get changed for gym. Yeah, I start my day with working out. If I was making this video like a month and a half ago, I would have been waking up like five minutes before nine, five minutes before I start my work, quickly brush my teeth and start working. But I managed to change my schedule, change my routine, and now I'm waking up early and going to gym before I start my day because that really helps me you know get active get charged up get more energy throughout the day and i have a different kind of day when i have like my morning set out with a particular routine which is like working coffee working out coming back home shower and all of that which you'll see but starting my day with workouts has actually changed my life there's so much energy i like to do things that much more happier so yeah that's that routine suits me <laughs> Who's ready for the gym? I am. Let's go. And that is a good morning, but I think I've made my life's worst coffee because there's no froth. It's all watery. I don't know what I did. So my condo's building has a gym for the tenants to use, so it makes it super easy for me to go down to the sixth floor and use the gym in the mornings. I normally go five days a week, and today was an upper body day, so we start out with some stretching, and I like to use light weights for my first exercise so I don't strain the muscles. So 10 pounds it was and now it is time to start some workout with some really nice music. I follow three main people for my workouts. One is Rachel Dillon, she's from Australia. One is Whitney Simmons and another one is Chloe Ting. These weighted workouts are mostly Rachel and Whitney. Most of my workouts are supersets, so at least 2 or 3 exercises in one set and I do those for 10 to 12 reps for 3 rounds and that's how my workouts end. Today was shoulder, chest and triceps days, so that's what I'm doing. I have actually followed Move With Us app from Rachel before and that is when I actually got to know all about these different exercises and routines and how my body responds to different kinds of exercises. So that's where I started from and I think that's a really nice app to start from as well. It is a little expensive app but I think it, it is worth it because you get meal plans as well and this is not sponsored. I personally love the app and I followed it religiously for at least 4-6 to six months and that's when I saw the most transformation in my body and I really loved going through all those challenges and those workouts. They are superb and they work really well. That was a quick one. Do I have time to squeeze in a plank? No, I don't think so. I should be going right now otherwise I'll be late for work. And I'm back. So this is basically my work desk, which is a mess right now. That's my office laptop, that's my work laptop, like my YouTube stuff, that's like my little corner. I got this from Turkey, no muggles beyond this point. I have to like fix this spot, but that's the view I work with. Isn't it nice? Okay, not everyone has logged in yet. So that's me. One, two, three, oh my god. Wednesdays are busy, you see? So 11, 1.30 and then 3. Oh, do you want to see my skincare? Because I've recently started using it. And uh, please ignore my room behind me because it's a mess. I haven't started doing anything. I just woke up. It's too early for me to do anything, fix anything. But yeah, so 
So this is Dr. Dennis Cross. It's a daily peel, AHA, BHA, superb stuff. A little expensive, but I've been using it uh, on alternate days. And after this, I use the ordinary. I don't know why it's not. Yeah, this one. So these are the niacinamide, niacinamide drops from ordinary. And on the days when I don't use the AHA, BHA, I use this copper buffet solution which is actually pretty good this is for like uh, fine lines and texture this is for blemishes this is for exfoliation this is Kiehl's eye treatment eye cream and this is my moisturizer not the eye cream it's also from ordinary Before we start anything, I'm gonna reply to all the emails, action, whatever was necessary, and then we'll go ahead and do other stuff. So yeah, hang on there because this is the boring stuff. You don't want me to watch doing that. Oh, did I tell you where I work? I think I did not. I work with Gigi. So yeah, I work in the ad operations team as an ad operations specialist and I work for Kijiji which is actually a really really good um, uh, company. I love my team, they're like really relaxed, really chilled out and I think the work culture is really nice here. I am quite happy with like where I'm working. It's a contract role, I got it from LinkedIn. It took them a while to respond to me about the interview process but I knew it was like it went well so I, I was counting on it because I really wanted to work with a company like this. So yeah, it all worked out really well. We have actioned all the important stuff so let's go and make some breakfast because I'm hungry. My stomach is like rumbling right now. It's also holy so I'm gonna call my mom and wish her so I think you guys are gonna have, watch our conversation as well. Let's see if she picks up. It's not that bad, that early in Delhi. Hello. Only till it's okay. Nah, nah. Okay. okay. Video one, actually. I thought that Dayvara, 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 Dayvara. So while I was having a conversation with my mom, I thought I should whip up some eggs. I normally have three eggs in which I add one yolk and three whites and I add some herbs and make it into an omelette. This is my daily dose of protein along with which I also have a protein shake where I have like about one and a half scoops of really nice whey protein, whey iso whey. And this is my breakfast normally. See how good that egg, egg turns out. So this is my morning breakfast, well balanced, all protein, carbs and fat included and that's it, there we go. I think I'm good for a few hours and then we'll go out, yes. It's a really nice sunny day today so I'm planning to go out during my lunch break. So since I have actioned everything and my next meeting is in the next 10 minutes, I am squeezing in some Instagram time. I try to spend like about an hour or hour and a half throughout the day in, on Instagram when I like engage with posts, uh, see what's new, what's happening, schedule anything that I have. I don't have a dedicated time for Instagram. But right now, we are not doing that because I recently launched my new video this morning at 7 a.m. I totally forgot about that. So yeah, my new video is all about the path in Toronto. So if you have not seen that, just go and watch that as well. So to promote my YouTube videos on other apps, I use this website called Open an App. All you need to do is copy the share link from YouTube, go into this website, create a new link and paste the YouTube URL over here. Then it generates a new link that you can copy and share it everywhere you like. You can also customize it with some prefix and suffix. I always do that. So what is the difference between YouTube link and this URL? So if you paste a YouTube link or click on a YouTube link, it opens in the browser and not in the actual app. But if you click on this link, it opens the app straight away. It takes like a couple more seconds more than YouTube, but it opens your app. So it counts the views you're getting through the YouTube link clicks. 
then i went into my first meeting of the day it went on for a while and this is for all the boring stuff you don't want to hear about it so let's carry on i'm done with work it was very hectic morning so many things to do like how am i going to survive i don't like this i don't like working anyways um it's time to get some more coffee because i'm tired and i have so many meetings coming up so i need some energy and we are going to get tim hortons because um i'm broke <laughs> this is like cheap coffee and they have got sometimes good offers so let's see what they have um have you tried vanilla coconut latte let's try that if you haven't i'll tell you how it is we'll have skim milk medium sized four dollars for a medium sized tim hortons that is expensive savory pastries so we'll have these spicy jalapeno which is 250 calories three dollars so i live super close to lake ontario and because the sun's out and it's such a nice sunny day i'm going to have my coffee and my pastry near the lake so isn't that a nice little lunch break i normally don't come out because it's so cold but the sun's too good to miss and i'm sure i'm gonna come out more when the weather gets warmer so I can take like longer walks during my lunch time. This is so nice. I really like that. I specifically wanted to live near this area because the water and these walks, these are nice, like nice little changes during the day, isn't it? I have about 45 minutes to spend here. So we'll have a nice little sunny lunch. pieces of coconut so not really uh, a fan of that but it's decent I love this if you go into Tim Hortons next try this it's really nice done with my lunch I've decided to walk in the area for like about 10-15 minutes and then we will head back home because I have another meeting at 1.30 so this is like not my usual thing to do sometimes I go out in lunchtime not daily but when summers come I am definitely going out daily because it's a nice area to walk in and just get your uh, muscles moving because otherwise I'm home all the time and I don't like that and the sun's nice too like just sit in and soak in look at that that's a flight up my boyfriend who went out about work and spoke to him for a while before I headed back to work again taking a walk now because I've been sitting since the longest time done with work 20 more minutes to go before I log off and yeah so that's like my normal work day when I have like a lot of stuff a lot of meetings happening that's how my work day goes by um, in terms of content creation schedule um, Mondays are mostly when I make my short form videos, all my reels and all my YouTube shorts are made on Mondays, I schedule them on Monday. Uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, I edit my YouTube videos. Uh, Thursday, I plan my next video. Thursday, Friday is like goes into a lot of scripting and uh, 
Saturday, Sunday are normally I try to not work so I can spend time with my boyfriend and I have uh, about an hour and a half after I finish work to do all the stuff so that's when all the shooting happens and the editing happens that's my content creation schedule and I have to show you my iPad as well because this is like where all the stuff goes on behind the scenes I am going to make a video about like how to start vlogging and how to go by the back end process of planning and scheduling and doing everything uh, that is coming next week in a vlog called how to start vlogging in 2023 uh, but yeah on in short uh, I dedicate one day in the whole month to plan out my month um, so for example I have like a flow scripting all of that this is all the stuff that goes on behind the scenes I write down everything that I want to show in the video I have a planner so April is not done I have to do April so if you see this these are all the weekly videos that I plan I also have like a planner for reels Vancouver trip is coming up so I have like videos uh, video ideas written down over here for Vancouver if you have any video video ideas for Vancouver that you would want to see or want me to make let me know in the comment section I will try and make it and or incorporate it in one of my videos uh, I am still procrastinating about what I want to make for Vancouver because there are so many ideas but I just have to put it down in my iPad which I still haven't done yet I don't know what I'm doing my trip is like three weeks far so I should be doing that as well but yes that is one more thing that I have to do let's log off work is done and this is done it's time for this one. So I spent about an hour working on my YouTube videos after I finished work at 5. So 5 to 6 I edit my videos, choose music or do any kind of YouTube stuff. That's the one hour that I dedicate every single day on YouTube. Today we are going to select some music for the video and I feel like I spend a lot of time selecting music but I just need something that vibes with what I want the video to look like and I think that's what you should do too. Bye! Hey, so what is up? Yeah. Nahi. Hi, nahi, nahi. Yes, yes, yes. Nahi, abhi kar rahi thi. Uh, Instagram. Kahe. So the plan is that we will make some dal chawal. Okay, now while he does that, I will finish up my Instagram post. Editing will be completed tomorrow when we finish recording that. And after that, we will watch a movie. Which movie, baby? Scream. Yay! Netflix. Netflix Scream. And I'll also tell you later if it is good or not. I barely have the time or patience to cook every day. So we cook in bulk and meal prep for the week. So this is our dinner for the next three days. And no, this is not our normal day. This is just like out of the blue. We thought we should have a drink because we have nothing else to do. Sandwiches. And finally, we ended the day with a really nice dinner and a not so nice movie. Yes, don't watch this scream, it was really bad. And that was a normal weekday in my life. My weekends are very, very different and I will see you next week with another video. If you are still sticking around and if you liked what I showed you today, Hit the subscribe button, like the video because that boosts it up a little bit and watch all my other videos while you are here. But I'll see you next week. And next week I'm coming up with a lot of other stuff, very informative vlog about how to start vlogging or how to start a YouTube in 2023. And I have a lot of different tips and tricks and ideas that I want to share with you. There's so much I want to tell you. So next week is going to be big. And this week I'll see you next time. Good night.